now is I'm, I'm recording this so that um, if you don't have great connection, you'll still, you'd be able to watch it later. Um, I don't really know how to kind of fix individual technical issues. So this is my best solution. So what I'm doing is recording it and then I um, can upload it to YouTube, which can do closed captions and audio. So you'd be able to hear it in either way. All right. So I hope that we have most things resolved. Um, it looks like we have 14 people here. So that means that every one of you got connected. Congratulations on the first day when internet went down. Um, that threw me for a loop. Um, and we also um, have the, um, our, um, hold on, I'm going to type something right. I'll post online. Um, so, uh, but we also have our mentor that is here as well. So what I plan on doing right now is, um, going over, um, just kind of like how the class is going to work and also, uh, reviewing a little bit the syllabus. It looks like a giant book, um, if you print it out and kind of talk a little bit about the honors program introduce you to our peer mentor, Cassie, and um, maybe do a little icebreaker depending on how much free time we have. So I first want to, um, I'm going to first introduce you to Cassie. So Cassie, if you want to talk, it'll Hi. go to you. Okay. I'm Cassie. I'm a senior and I'm, my major's history. Um, I'm just here to like help you guys. If you have any questions, you can email me or text me or anything like that so all right uh yeah so zoom is gonna be a little like this so when somebody talks that person will get to this. so now i'm gonna now it'll flip over to me so what i'm gonna start with is taking us to our blackboard site and orienting you to that and then we'll go to our um, syllabus and review some of that information so what i'm gonna do now is share my screen Okay, so if you do not see, so you should be seeing um, our Blackboard site. If you don't see it, somebody tell me. Does it look good? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. All right, thank you. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so this is our class Blackboard site. And I started with this course, course overview. I tried to send out emails earlier um, kind of a couple weeks ago that alerted you to these like introduction videos that I posted about myself. And um, I also sent out some, some, some welcome emails to the class list that I had at the time that kind of gave you a little bit of an overview of how the class would work. So uh, I made the intro video just so you had an idea of who I was and what, what I, you know, what, what my life is generally like, and a little background about my um, professional background and my personal background. So all of that is available there for you to get to know me so that we're, we can um, be a little bit um, better connected. The, oh, this should be available to you guys now. Um, okay, so below that I have um, your course syllabi. We will be breaking up into two groups, and I'll show you what those groups are in just a minute. Depending on which group you're in, you'll download the um, associated syllabus. I have all of our goals and objectives, so kind of what our, our, I hope that you accomplish over the course of this semester. Since you are honor students, you're in the honors version of our first year course, so you're in um, HON 101 rather than BAC 101. And the goals for this class are a little different than the BAC 101 class in that we are going to try to infuse um, research, inquiry, and um, information literacy more 
within our class than just getting to know UT. And that sets the stage for kind of a, a deeper involvement in the honors program. And uh, a, a part of the program which will be emphasized as you move through it is the um, the possibility of doing an honors thesis. So understanding research will set the stage for that as you go through the program. I also have some information about what you know the university is referring to as netiquette because we're going to be spending more time not you know not you and I, so I will be meeting with students in person every week. I'll be meeting with half of the class. But if there is a need for us to go remote due to quarantine or something like that, then we will be using this more frequently. But also, um, the week that I'm not meeting with half of the class, Cassie will be working with you either, you know, trying to find a place on campus where you can meet or maybe meeting on Zoom. So this background about netiquette is helpful. And um, given kind of the direction that we're, we're going right now, um, more and more meetings are happening online. So having this background information is, is helpful for everybody. Um, I did want to also mention that for this class, there isn't any required textbook. Um, for BAC 101, there is a requirement that you purchase a, um, a UT planner. I'm not requiring that you buy that UT planner, but I strongly suggest that you buy or use some sort of planner. I typically use um, uh, the my my iCalendar. It syncs my computer, my phone, my kids, my husband. All of us are in this one device, you know, one program. Um, both of I have two girls. Both of them use hard planners um, to organize all of their classes, but. Um, they, we bought theirs on Amazon and they are designed, you know, they got to pick their colors. I encourage you to do that. And they also are less expensive. All right. So, uh, yes, definitely use some sort of planner. It will keep you organized and help you to um, arrive to places on time. One other reason why I like that um, my iCalendar um, is that I set alerts so that I actually show up to classes on time um, or I know when I need to leave the house. Those types of things are, are useful. So um, in addition to this course overview, uh, I will be sending out email announcements as will Cassie um, whenever there's kind of something that might be interesting, if there's an honor symposium for you to attend or if there's some you know, campus event for, that we wanna encourage you to participate in, we'll uh, send those announcements. So one announcement that you might've noticed that I sent out today, <laughs> uh, I sent that out when I got the announcement that UT internet went down and I realized, holy smokes, I don't have a really good way to get in touch with this class um, if we don't have internet. So uh, as long as your phone is working and you have an app downloaded, we can still connect. So this is a good time for you to download Zoom on your phone if you don't already have it. Um, and also I set up just this morning, um, it's called a, a group me. If you in high school, you might have used the um, Remind app. Um, I used to use that with my kids. Uh, group Me is something that's used. Oh, gosh, there's so many people joining already. All right, fantastic. So I set these up. Um, I included the QR code for you and the link. But please, it's, um, it is this will be useful for us to communicate via text if uh, internet doesn't work um, or it would also help if, for example, you got stuck in a hotel somewhere and the internet, at the Wi-Fi there is terrible. You would be able to, or you're in an airport and you can't check your email. This would be a good way to communicate with me or the class, um, even if there is no internet, um, which now we know is a possibility. All right, so those are, are just two additional things that I added just this morning. Um, the Blackboard site has, is this is your go-to source for content. So I have hidden some of the later weeks, but the first five weeks of content are already there. So every week before you come to class, I encourage you to go to this course content and click on the folder related to that week. So today is week one, so we would click on this folder for this week. 
and it will have the information related to the content that we're going to deliver. So um, I'll show you this president's welcome video in a second, but there's also some other information in this folder that is helpful for you. So one thing that you will hear a lot of, and it's also infused within your syllabus, is something called Spartan Ready. So there is a web link directly to Spartan Ready that tells you um, about what Spartan Ready is um, and the way that we're trying to infuse these pillars, um, which will help prepare you for you know, future life and future workforce. So there are things like communication, teamwork, global engagement, self-awareness, and so there's all of this information is there um, for you to, to get to know. In the syllabus, you'll see that there are icons for each week that kind of touch on which of those pillars we will be working on. And as you move through UT, you will be creating a co-curricular transcript in addition to your academic transcripts, which will also help you identify some of those Spartan Ready pillars. If you're looking to get engaged in things on campus, uh, this Campus Events tab takes you to our UT Master Calendar. Some of the things that we encourage you to participate in are these work Week of Welcome events. Um, so anything that says, wow, those are things we encourage you to attend uh, so that you can actually, and this is one of them, um, the back snacks. Um, so you can load up on snacks for um, the weekend. But this gives you an idea of what's going on on campus campus and ways that you can engage both on campus and with some, um, some friends. We also have uh, two documents here that are referenced in uh, the syllabus. One is a student safety checklist that might sound boring, but it is hurricane season and it is Florida. So we lucked out that Marco and Lara, um, which were two named hurricanes, did not come towards us. Um, but we have um, not lucked out in the past. Um, so a few, I, I have, I've, in the 10 years that I've been at UT, we've had to adjust our fall schedule twice um, because of campus closures um, due to hurricanes coming towards us. So do be prepared and uh, download the student safety checklist and, and be prepared um, with all of that information um, so that you are ready in case there is, um, we are, we do need to prepare for a hurricane or some other event. Um, and then one other uh, um, link that I include here is uh, the Honors Program Handbook. So I'll go through this too, but the first homework assignment you have is to read the Honors Program Handbook. It's thrilling. Um, so, but to read that and to write a reflection on it. And so the reflection is, um, so there's this uh, document right here. It's called Response and Reflection, and it goes through what, your response and reflections are. Basically, it's kind of free range writing. You, I just want a reflection and, and for you to write something. It does not have to be, um, you know, proper grammar. That's not, I'm not grading on your proper grammar. I'm not grading you on whether or not you're using citations. You can write a poem. You could write bullet points. You could write it like a journal entry. You could write it like a, a blog. You could actually make a vlog, right? There's a lot of ways that you could approach that assignment. It's just your way of expressing your reaction. Um, and if you have a negative reaction, that's fine. Um, if you have a positive, whatever it is, it's really just, I want some sort of thoughtful response to the reading the honors program handbook and thinking about the honors program. Um, uh, and additionally, if you want to know more about honors program and honors resources, over here on the left I have a tab that I made for you that has a link to a lot of different honors resources. So the first one is honors symposia. For the honors program and to stay in the honors program, you need to, in, during the academic year, you need to attend four symposia. They are virtual this year, so via Zoom. Um, so I need you to attend two this semester. So they're, they're all listed here for you um, in this link. And um, the date and time is listed and it also tells you that they are going to be via Zoom. Um, so um, 
check your your honors emails they will have the zoom link and password for those meetings um, okay so that is helpful information for you also i have just an overview of honors requirements if you choose to stay in the honors program what is required um, the gpa requirement and what you're required to earn ace points so for honor symposium and then also um, you get you have to participate in four service events um, and two engagement events in order to earn these ace points um, one of the service events we're trying to adjust those because of covid and so sending a i voted sticker to the honors email would get you ace points um, there's also a link to the honors vlog um, the ut honors council instagram and then make sure that you uh, complete the honors orientation on the blog site um, to earn ace points by the 31st. Okay, so those are all just basic, you know, background information for you. All right, so I'm gonna uh, stop sharing this screen for now. Stop sharing. Um, and let's see. Okay, nothing's in the chat. Okay. Um, I want to share now the symposium, uh, excuse me, the, I can't find it, my Microsoft Word, okay, hold on, cancel that. I want to share the syllabus for you, I'm going to move that over there, okay, let's see if I can find it now, yes, there it is, okay, so here's our giant syllabus. Um, now, for each of your classes, you're gonna have a syllabus. And it, these, honestly, I've been here 10 years, each year these syllabi get longer and longer. Um, I'm going to hit some highlights in it, but please read them. Some of the uh, areas in the syllabus um, are the same in, for each of your classes, so, uh, and I'll, I'll address that as well. But the information that is is different for each of these classes you should be aware of so the information at the top that's how you can get in touch with both me and cassie um, so uh, i'm dr waggett um, if you want to talk to me i will be available on zoom it's an open you can walk in at any point open zoom hours um, at these different times so tuesday 2 to 4 wednesday 2 30 to 3 30 friday 10 to 12. Um, if you want to talk to me i'm i just hop into the zoom it's the same link that i shared today today too but we could also set up an appointment um cassie if you want to get in touch with her her email is there um and you can probably use the remind link as well the best way to get in touch with me zoom email or the remind um i don't always answer the phone in my office um because i am not a phone person i don't sorry. if it, it's a lot of uh, uh, i don't always know who's calling me um and if i knew it was you i would pick it up but um sometimes i it's just spam um okay so the start of the um the syllabus um, we have a class motto this year, break boundaries, be kind. Um, this is highly important right now in our current social uh, climate. So we will, this is one of my new personal mottos too, is to try to think um, about how our actions affect other people. Your um, course objectives, those I also showed you those on um, Blackboard already so those are the things that we're working towards I also included the honors pledge that is in the honors handbook which your is your first assignment for the class it is important to know that I know it's one credit class we may not be doing um, kind of rigorous content in the class but it is graded and you need to pass it um, Number one, you need to pass it so that you can stay in the honors program. Uh, number two, if you don't pass it, you're gonna have to retake the class. Um, so, and also you don't want a, a low grade in this class to bring down your GPA. That's, you would, it's, it's, that, it's just unfortunate for, for that to happen. Um, there is the possibility to use um, grade forgiveness to, to retake classes, but, um, 
you, it's really just better if you save those for classes like organic chemistry or, you know, something that you might really struggle with. Um, okay, so there is a list that looks like a really long list, but these are all of the um, assignments that you will have this semester, how much they, um, how many points they're worth, and when they're due. So depending on which group you're in, I recommend putting all of these assignments into your planner, whatever type of planner you have, so that you make sure that you don't miss a deadline. Um, so these are, all of these are set in advance. Um, they will all be due on Blackboard. So you'll submit those assignments on Blackboard. Um, let's see. And they're all due by class time, so 10 a.m. There is um, the grading scale. So if you want to earn an A, you need to get at least 93% or 93 total points. Um, in order to pass, you want to get at least 73 points. There are also a list of other important dates that I would also recommend adding to your course planner. Um, the last day to change classes is September 1st, so attend your classes in the next week or so. Um, if you want to make any changes, you have to do it by September 1st. Um, we will um, start finals on November 30th, so the last time that we'll see each other in person um, will be um, the week of Thanksgiving. Actually, I won't see you. That's, you'll probably already be gone for that, so the week before Thanksgiving. All right, so everything every week we have is set up in this syllabus so as i mentioned print this out and use this in your syllabus in your planner so that you know what's happening each week so this week is our first year we're not hello we're meeting this is just kind of information all things um, I list what I have available for you kind of that's useful on Blackboard and then I list your homework for you. So there is a homework assignment that is due next week um, by September 2nd that you need to read the honors program handbook and complete a response and reflection. Um, so next week um, Group one will meet with me in our classroom, CB166. These are the things that we're gonna be covering. We're gonna cover time management. We're gonna talk about how to, you know, plan our time as a college student. I have some other things that we'll go over that week too, but basically, and you don't have to bring highlighters and colored pencils if you're using a digital version, but basically just bring your syllabi. We're gonna go over, make sure that all of your stuff gets loaded up into your planner. Um, for those of you that are um, in group two, you'll be meeting with Cassie and you'll be doing a separate content, right? You're, and um, so everybody gets the same content. We just get it in different weeks. Um, all right, so I'm not gonna go through each week with you, but just I want you to do that. And just be aware of how it's organized. The little icons refer to the Spartan Ready uh, concepts that we'll be covering. All right, I'm gonna scroll way, way down to talk about some of the policies. Um, so I wanna draw your attention to attendance um, for a couple of reasons. There's a whole lot of text here, but the most important thing that I wanna bring your attention to is um, if we're meeting in person and you don't feel well, don't come. I don't want you to feel compelled to come to a class, um, any class this semester, if you don't feel good. So it is important that we are taking our temperature, that we are making sure that we are retain our senses. If you're feeling nauseous, nauseated, if you have a fever, if you have a headache, if you um, are experiencing any COVID or flu-like symptoms, don't go out make sure that you seek medical attention because we don't want to spread this to anybody. Um, I will excuse your absence. If you're not feeling well, just email me and I will mark it down. We'll come up with some other way for us to cover class and I'll provide you with a remote option. Um, now, that doesn't mean that never come to class and don't just, you don't know, use it as an excuse like I overslept or I just, you know, went to the beach with my friends. Um, just don't take advantage of this, but do know that um, 
you should be getting more flexibility with this um, than in the past. And I think Cassie would recognize there um, in few past years, we were this, your professors were sticklers about attendance. And so students would come to class, even if they had the flu, because they didn't want to miss the content because they might have been penalized. That is not acceptable anymore. We don't want you to do that. Um, nobody should come to class if you have the flu or, or you're feeling sick. We're being more responsible um, in, our, in our approach to that. However, we do want you to come if you're feeling well, right? Because you'll get more out of this class in all of your classes. So I'm not gonna read all of that, but I think I kind of went over the highlights of that. Don't go to class if you're not feeling good, but if you are, you'll get much more out of the class. And um, if, you're like, if you're missing weeks in a row and you just keep saying that you're not sick and you don't have a doctor's note yet, the professors probably aren't gonna be as like, they're gonna think it's BS. So like, if you're that sick, go to the doctors and have a note, that way you're not like, you have proof yes. that you're and abs absolutely, and we do get notices, like faculty get um, a little email from Dickey Health and Wellness if you're not, if you have been seen there. So um, I know sometimes it's not easy to get an appointment, um, but if you're, if you are, if you are so sick, like you have a fever, go get tested for whatever, you know, the flu or COVID. Um, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt to get tested. Um, and it'll make us all feel better. <laughs> Um, all right, so, but if it is an excused absence, if you're sick, whatever, uh, you can still turn assignments in, but just make sure they get turned in on time. Um, the late policy assignment, make sure that you're using the right formats to turn things in. So um, Word and Excel are my preferred. I'd rather not get things through Google Docs um, because my UT website is not associated with my Google Docs. It gets complicated. Um, Okay, so uh, I do want to mention the, the Title IX um, information. So this, we didn't used to include this in our syllabi, but it is uh, important that we let you know that, um, for example, I am what's called a mandatory reporter. So if a student comes to me and confides in me about um, some sort of uh, sexual violence, um, like uh, domestic violence, uh, or rape, either on or off campus, any type of um, uh, situation like that, I am required by law to report that um, to our Title IX uh, coordinator. Um, so I feel compelled to share that with you. Not that I'm trying to discourage you from sharing that information with me or anybody else, but just that if you wanted something like that to be confidential, I'm not the right person to share that with. Um, but it, I do strongly encourage you to seek help if any of that happens. Um, and I will support you, but I am required to uh, report that. Um, if you have need accommodations, so extra time for things, um, let me know. Um, the, we will talk in more detail about academic integrity throughout the semester, but do not, please don't, please don't cheat. That really stinks. Um, when we meet, we are all required to wear masks. So please wear a mask to class. I will have one on as well. Um, they are required um, on campus. So, and you will be required to have one on in class. So um, if you show up without one, you will have to be asked to leave. Um, then there's a whole bunch of information about grading and that's, that's, that's the bulk of it. So I'm gonna stop. Um, you can read the rest of that um, on your own. Um, I don't think I need to kind of go through the harp on all of that in a lot of detail, but um, let me just share your um, groups with you if you haven't already found that. Um, so on our Blackboard site, if you click on groups, there are two groups. There's, so far there's 12 students in the class, so even groups of six. So group one, if you click on this, this is our, these are our group one members. Um, so if your name is on this list, you will follow the group one syllabus. If your name is not on this list, you'll be in the group two syllabus. Um, so everybody on group one, I will see you next week in person. Um, everybody not on this list, I will see you not next week, but the week after that. 
Um, so just this is um, a easy way for you to check. This was a random, I used Blackboard's random assigning group assignments in order to make that happen. And then the other group will be meeting with me. Yes, let me go to that one. Groups. Yeah. So this is group two. So um, Cassie will communicate with you about how you'll meet either, you know, on camp, depending on the, how it works, but either by Zoom or um, kind of on campus and in person. So. Um, all right. Okay. So I talked a lot. I talk a lot. I'm a, I'm a talker. Um, so let's see. Um, all right. The f okay. All right. So I was looking at the chat, but it was already answered. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So that was enough of me talking. Now let's get a chance to get to know each other a little bit. What I was going to have us do now are some little icebreakers. Let me pull up the icebreakers. Okay. So the first one we're going to do as a group. Um, where is my little, my notes? Let's see. Where are my notes? Window. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this one is silly, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay. Um, so this is like a little kind of personality test that we're going to do. So you're going to need a pen, um, and a piece of paper. If you don't already, if you are without a pen or pencil, um, just watch us. <laughs> okay. All right. So what everybody's going to do right now is you're going to draw a pig. Just whatever you want the pig to look like, just, and, and we're, nobody's going to judge you on your drawing abilities. You're going to do a self-analysis. You can share it with us if you want, but you don't have to. So, um, but, oh my gosh, my pig is terrible. All right. I have to start over. This is embarrassing. All right, this one's better. All right, take one more minute. That was my husband walking through. All right, 10 more seconds. All right, so if you haven't finished, it's okay. We're just gonna talk about some of the, like, some of the different topics. Okay, so look at your pig and look at the location that you put it on your paper. So how many of you guys put it, like, toward the top of the paper? You just have to raise your hand. Oh, fantastic. Okay. I, I started on the top and then it didn't go there. But if you put it near the top of the paper, then it, this, my analysis says, then you have a tendency to be positive and optimistic, which is fantastic for this year because we need positivity and optimism. Okay. How many people put it more in the middle? Any middle? Nobody put it in the middle. Okay. So middle, middle location is more of a realist. Um, and then anybody put it near the bottom? 
bottom. Yes. All right. So you tend to be slightly more pessimistic <laughs> um, with a prone to behaving negatively. Okay. So I'm going to share, show you my, all right. I started off near the top. So this is kind of like my approach to 2020, I guess. I started off near the top but it didn't it moved towards more towards the to the middle so yeah we're just, we're just slowly moving downwards as the year as the year goes on okay so um how many of you have it pointing to the left actually mine is pointing to the left so so with your your little snout pointing to the left okay so what this tells you is that you believe more in tradition and being friendly and you're prone to remembering dates well so very that's interesting okay so how many so that actually that is pretty accurate for me so for those that put it towards the right did anybody put it to the right all right so that what they says is you're actually maybe prone to forgetting dates easily um and you have a tendency to be innovative and active that is that is not necessarily i'm not i have to force myself to be active all right, um, facing front. So if anybody just drew like straight on. All right, interesting. Okay, uh, so you have a tendency to be. Oh, I love that one. Your Andrew, yours is good. Um, so you have a tendency. Tell me if this is correct. You have a tendency to be direct, and you may enjoy playing the role of devil's advocate. No, yeah, like to say, yeah, that's my boo. I have a yeah, I have I have a daughter that's like that. Okay, um, and you are also. Um, prone to being able to handle confrontational discussions. Yeah, oh, interesting, yes, I do not like confrontation. All right, um, okay, so how many of you, cause just drew like a really simple pig with very few details? Yeah, yeah, me too, mine is not, not a lot of, okay, so you have a tendency to be emotional and focus on the big picture rather than focusing on details. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, this does not sound right. You have a tendency to be a great risk taker. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say mine has details then. Okay, so if you had a lot of details, any detail-oriented people, um, you have a tendency, oh, Caitlin, very detailed. That is very detailed, Caitlin. <laughs> All right, well, then you have a tendency to be analytical. Caitlin, are you a, a bio major? No, I'm a marketing major. Marketing major. Okay, well then, I, then yes, you need to be analytical. Good, but you also may be prone to being cautious um, in in your approach. Interesting. Okay. All right. Did how many people drew it with all four legs showing? Yeah, all four legs showing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I think we all did. Okay. So this says. Do you may, this may indicate that you're living through a major period of change. <laughs> That's like, so 2020, all right. Um, so interesting. Okay, um, all right. How many people made it with big ears? Big ears, only one of you, okay. So that, that says, so what this tells me is, the bigger ears, the better you are at being a listener. So, um let's see how many people made it with a long tail long tail i kind of made it with a long tail. okay uh the longer the longer the tail the more it, the more intellectual you are mine is very squiggly i don't know what that means all right so this was this was just fun to get us to kind of chat a little bit okay um all right so the next thing that we're gonna do is we have a few more minutes okay um is to talk about how common we are. Um, so what I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. This is my first time doing this. We're going to um, we're going to use the breakout rooms. So I'm going to break us up into um, how many of us? There's 12. I'm going to break us up into three groups. And in your group, you're going. I'm going to give each of the groups two minutes. And in those two minutes come up with a list of things that you have in common. Okay, so it could be like, who likes to eat Thai food? Or um, who's from New York? Or um, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, what's your dream job? What are your hobbies? It could be anything. It could be like, who's wearing blue today, right? Um, whatever it is. But in your group, in two minutes, I want us to see how many things 
that you can come up with that you have in common? And I can give you one, right? You all go to UT. <laughs> right. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the breakout groups right now. All right. We are going to go into your breakout groups. Okay. So this is totally random. Casey, uh, sorry, Casey, Cassie, you're actually going to one of the rooms. So just so you know that you can play. All right. You're all open. Okay. All right, we're just waiting for the groups to rejoin. All right. All right. I think we are all back. Okay, we're all back. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So, all right. Group one had Bryce, Hunter, Hunter, Sydney, and Wynn. So, what did you guys have on your list? Um, we all went to UT. Uh, we're all in the honors program. That's right. Uh, oh, we're all living. <laughs> that's, um, that's good. We all come from the U.S., even though we might be from different parts. But we're all eighteen. Uh, we all have hair. We all have at least one pet, and we all own iPhones. Ah, awesome! All right, so group T, Anya. Uh, group two, uh, Anya. 
Cassie, Joshua, and Kristen. What do you guys have? Okay. So we had, we all go to UT. Um, we're all in our rooms right now. Our favorite season is spring. We're on the honors program. We all have siblings. We all have a dog. We all like the beach and we all like coffee. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. And group three, Andrew, Anthony, Caitlin, and is it Anna? Is it Anna or Anna? Anna. Anna. Okay, good. All right. So what do you guys have on your list? All right. So on our list, we had, we all like Chinese food. Uh, we all played sports in high school. We all have siblings. Uh, we all have iPhones, and we're all on our laptops right now. All right. Is there anybody that doesn't have an iPhone? Oh, all right. We failed. All right. I was thinking, I'm like, maybe that's one we all have. Does everybody have pets? Yeah, everybody have pets? Maybe that was one the whole class has in common. Yeah. I showed you one of mine. I, we have a million pets at our house. Um, does everybody like the beach? Is there anybody that doesn't like the beach? Right. Uh, right. No, I don't think you'd come to Florida if you didn't like the beach, right? <laughs> All right. Um, and everybody's UT and everybody's honors for now. We're all, we're all honors. All right. All right. Awesome. That was, that was a great way to kind of at least get to know each other. So um, we have one minute left for class, but um, that was great. Thank you for joining me and being patient with a, a Zoom first day. Um, if you have other questions or anything, um, I have Zoom office hours later today. Um, we can also, e you can email me, we can remind, whatever. Um, but I uh, look forward to meeting half of you next week and the other half of you the week after. Um, and I hope that the rest of your day is awesome and that you have a great first week of classes. All right. All right. That's all. That's it. It's 10.50. All right. Um, that's all. So I'll see you again in the next couple of weeks. But, but what is it? Whatever, whatever our break boundaries and be kind. <laughs> all right. I'm going to close the meeting so you don't feel like you have to hang on anymore. All right. Bye, everybody.